Welcome back to Tidy Room Hangar. This is Mike. Today we talked about the RT-01R Caesar. This is their take on an Optimus Primal, and it is in a translucent red, which looks pretty cool, and it is an interesting little effect to it. But we're going to take a look at it. This is not very much different than the other one, other than the color and the fact that it is clear. But we'll take a quick look at this guy today, do some comparisons. Yes, I did get this to Show Z. You can get this there, too, if you want to get it from Show Z. Uh, TA for your code to help channel out. But let's take a look at this clear version of Optimus Primal in legend scale coming up here's the box it really didn't do very well in shipping but it's fine with me because i'm not going to probably see it again for a long time not much to it but there is the box all right so let's take a look at this guy he looks pretty cool in his red translucent now it's not super translucent it's not like you're able to see my hand behind it but it's kind of a cool effect now i've got a light that we're going to shine on it i got from a star wars figure which i think you can still get that same exact light today at walmart but yeah pretty cool looking this is actually not clear plastic on the waist i think any part that they felt was going to have a lot of pressure they didn't make it clear plastic so solid red solid red on the joints makes sense i mean it really does make sense that you're not having too much breakage if too much of it is clear then you're going to have too much uh, breakage in there. But, I mean, that's really the big difference between this and the other one is the color and the clearness of it. But the head is solid, too. I don't think that's clear. And it looks painted. I mean, I swear, that head... Let's see. Let's get it to where the light's shining on it. I think the head's painted a nice blue. It looks pretty good. Just not able to quite get it in focus. Just the head. Anyway, uh, yeah, it looks pretty good overall. The these nice gold swords. I think they plug away. They'll go plug away in the alt mode. But anyway, pretty cool. Let's get into seeing what it looks like with a lighting effect going on. All right, this is the holochrom thing they've got going on with some Star Wars. They, get, they make Star Wars figures in clear, and then they give this the light for them and turn this light on it's kind of a cool little light but it doesn't completely refract the light through the figure very well as i scroll up you can kind of see the effect a little bit different from different angles so yeah that's kind of cool and then of course getting to see it with the light like right on and this thing only stays on for a little bit so trying to get it to where it's not blinding the camera but you can still see the translucency of the figure. Anyway, I figure it'd be kind of a cool effect. It, it is a challenge to get it to light up and capture it on camera. Ah. But anyway, cool effects. Not sure exactly how you display it to maximize the translucency of this, translucentness of this, but still a cool effect, interesting overall. As for accessories, he does come with this skull-looking staff that he has. He had before, same accessory, and he comes with a clear, translucent face mask, like he did before. Can't seem to get that thing to focus getting close. But anyway, that is the accessories. Also, and I'm again, I, these are so small and tiny. He comes with extra faces, but I don't really see that they're going to do much good. Here are the other faces. I don't really want to uh, zoom in too much because you start losing. Yeah, I still see the point. I don't think that it's really worth it. It's like basically different mouths for the most part, but uh, I'm not going to use them. I'm happy with what he's got. Quickly, the obligatory articulation, head side to side, goes up that much and then down about that much. Shoulder out to about there and 360 bicep swivel and your bicep swivel is hindered by two things the the furry looking stuff on the forearm and the furry looking stuff on the shoulder and his hands have some articulation to them for a legends figure which is cool he's got two points of articulation in the thumb and then one point just kind of like typewriter fingers going on there he does have waist swivel and i know i thought somebody was saying the last time that he has an ab crunch but i'm not getting any ab crunch out of him so anyway, all the way out to there on the thigh, 90, past the 90 in the back, which is weird, 
Which, well, not really weird. And then double seems double jointed on the knee. And then we got some ankle tiltage. And here's the thing: you don't have to fold the the ape toes up if you don't want to. You can give them a little bit more stability if you want to. But you're supposed to have the ape toes up. And I don't really care either way. But I, I prefer more stability. The option for stability is nice. All right, here he is next to the first version of himself. And as you can see, a lot more plain looking than the first version. And I actually think that what I'm gonna do is put him in the alt mode and leave him in the alt mode in the red version. I think that's gonna be a cool way to display this guy, but yeah, pretty cool overall. Just because I can, here he is next to the Toy World. It's like the trans metal version of Megatron. We've got the robot toys making a very first appearance version. Still, I want to admit all of these from robot toys are stylized, but I can accept that because I'm not like super deep into the Beast Wars and I think they all look good. So I could take stylization with this more than like a G1 character. For me personally, in my collection, that's why it works very well for me. Plus, when it comes to Beast Wars, I do kind of feel like they need to be more metallic anyway and more like actual robots than animals in my mind it looks like a g1er so they fit in better with the way dinobots look and again all of that robot toys that's why i'm liking them i'm actually loving them and i haven't pulled this guy out in a while man that that megatron looks really good speaking of g1ers that's how he looks if you have a magic square display of g1 stuff so much fun well, okay Still couldn't get the effect the way I intended to originally. Anyway. One kind of feature on this guy before we transform him. And I was going to transform him and I forgot this the last time. And so I'm going to include it this time. But you can have these, these guns on there. And they don't go up that high. But you can adjust it how you want to display it. So that's kind of cool. Kind of, kind of like throwback to the Geo toy, and just including it. It's nice they included it though. Pretty cool. All right, so here he is in his alt mode, and yeah, it looks okay. It looks about what you'd expect. Uh, yeah, I did forget to show that you can do the blasters in the standard, so I kind of left that out when I was doing the transformation. But pretty good overall. But I think that the thing about this mode is that you're going to be able to get a little bit more light refraction out of this one, if it doesn't blind the camera. But you can actually see a little bit more of it. It kind of captures a little more of that light, which is kind of cool for the effect. If that's the thing that you're into, and I do think it looks a lot better in this mode, if you're trying to light it up from the bottom. So that's because there's more surface area and all that kind of stuff, so that's the way it goes. But it does look like a gorilla truck mon truck not monkey right but still a pretty cool overall carries over all the same features from the first one and does all the same stuff and really w once you've got it like this if you use the little bit of articulation it will sort of kind of break the sculpt a bit for the rear hind legs so there's not too much to that that you're going to be doing but of course you can do a whole lot with the front ones and and make some different poses but Pretty much this is the pose. Uh, like even with the head, if you move it too much, this back piece is in the way, the back neck fillers in the way. Uh, you can store the weapons on the back, although one of these holes, it's kind of like a dual, it's the hole is the same spot where those cannons, shoulder cannons kind of go, but you can stick those in there. This one's not one to stay in for some reason, but I mean, they're supposed to both go in there. I'm not gonna mess with it too much. And, but I am gonna leave them in this mode, so I, I might have to figure something out about that, but. Anyway, there he is in the alt mode. So I really don't keep any of them in alt mode. I'm going to start with a couple of them like this one will be in alt mode, like recolors and stuff. But when you look at it, look how much smaller he is. He shrinks down from that size to this size when he transforms. So it yeah, does make him a bit smaller if you really do want him to stand up on his hind legs. I mean, it can be done. It is possible for him to stand on his hind legs but i got one more comparison this just to be fair i got a, a foreshadowing comparison 
This is G1 Trans Metal Dino. I picked up two of these at a toy show real cheap. So I'm going to be comparing this to whenever I get the one coming in from TransArt. So that's going to be pretty cool. Pretty cool. Pretty fun stuff. So let's look at the Robot Toys RTO1R Caesar and their take on a, on a red, clear, fiery, fiery kind of Autos Primal. And it looks pretty good. It gets the job done. And I like it. I thought they did a pretty good job with the Optimus Primal. I really think they did a great job with their Megatron. And with all of this, I'm in on everything that they're making for this and to keep up with it. It's kind of cool. Also cool that we're not getting the exact same things other companies made. So doing great job, great work there. I really think all the third party legend scale and masterpiece should try to do different stuff and not quite keep <laughs> doing the same old things everyone else is doing. Not with that Magic Square and the New Age battling each other. Plus, I don't really think there's a huge market for this. So it's cool that they're doing it. Anyway, let me know what you think about this. I did get this show. I have a link down below where you can get yours. TH, review your code if you want to help the channel out. Anyway, like and subscribe. Tell your hanger out.